Using your hips effectively is one of the keys to developing a powerful forehand because it doesn't matter where you're hitting the ball from, we initiate the forward swing by driving through either our back or our outside hip. If you don't do that effectively, it's really going to max out the quality of shot that you can develop. So what I want to do in this video is show you some very simple drills that you can work on to develop a feeling for how to use your hips more effectively. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, it'd be great if you give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel before, it'll be most appreciated if you could do that as well. Okay, so these drills are designed to help you develop an awareness of what it feels like to use your hips effectively. I've placed the racket down because it just adds complication to it. So we'll start without the racket and then we can add the racket in later. For drill number one, we're gonna start off in a ready position. So hopefully nice and wide and stable. Uh, make sure your feet and ankles are warmed up before you do this because what we're gonna be doing is just practicing jumping and twisting 90 degrees. Now in order for me to make this jump, I have to use my hips. I have to get used to the feeling of firing through this right hip and just using that to rotate. Now if you're comfortable with 90 degrees, then you can start to increase it and work on greater distances just to get used to, or sorry, greater rotations, just to get used to the feeling of rotating. And what you'll notice is automatically you might start to load into that hip to give you some room to then start to rotate with. So it's a very effective way to train this movement. When you've done that from a static position, then you can start to add in the split step. So can I quickly land from my split step and then rotate 90 degrees? But again, all we're training is the feeling of soaking up power, loading into the hip and then rotating because that's what we're gonna be using on our forehand. Now we're going to work on trying to develop this feeling when we're hitting from more of a neutral stance. So you can just set up in a side-on position and then all you're going to do is try and drive through this hip and pivot your leg forwards. So notice when I did that, I've kind of loaded into my hip a little bit. So I'm kind of twisting my belly button towards this hip so that then I can drive my hip to be able to make it happen. And I want you to see if you can pivot through so you're facing in completely the opposite direction. Because in order to make that happen, we have to drive this by throwing the hip forwards. If you want, you can add in a little bit more realism in terms of what you're doing with your racket, but just kind of work on really driving through the hip and allowing that pivot. Once you're used to that, add in a couple of side steps and again, or side shuffles because sometimes the ball's a little bit shorter, we need to go in there and then use the hips. But again, the key here is as you make that side shuffle, just making sure I load into my hip because then that's gonna allow me to drive through the hip. We can try adding in a crossover step because sometimes as you're moving in towards the ball, you're gonna have to set up with the crossover. But again, it's just getting used to the feeling of driving through this hip, trying to rotate your leg all the way around and then you can start to turn it into more of a shadow swing really paying attention to what you're doing with your head but do this in progression make sure you can get the rotation first and then leave that head there to help you stabilize your head through contact but very simple progression for working on your neutral stance develop the feeling of using this back hip to initiate the swing now we're going to work on a variation to help you develop the feeling from hitting from an open or a semi-open stance. So it's going to be a little bit similar to how we started, but now we'll be adjusting what happens with the feet. So initially I would start with your right foot pointing. I'm up on the court, so towards the side fence. If you're doing this at home, pointing towards the side wall in your front room or wherever you're doing it. The other leg could be pointing that way, but more realistically when you're playing, it's probably going to be around 45 degrees but then from there you're just going to practice rotating so if i drive through this right hip and just throw myself forwards into a rotation and how much force can i generate effectively from this hip so just loading into the hip and rotating once you're familiar with that you can practice stepping into it more so rather than starting in this position i could be in my ready position step out and then just practice throwing the hips so step out, practice throwing the hips. We can then start to add in additional movements. So maybe I do a side shuffle, practice rotating through the hips. Side shuffle, rotating through the hips. And just like we said a moment ago, 
we can start out with not worrying about our head, but eventually we want to get used to our body rotating one way and our head rotating the other way so that we can stabilize our visual system through contact. So just practice stepping out into different positions and just really working on the rotation, getting used to using your hips and your pelvis. And this is one way you could start to change the position. So maybe I try and rotate and I land over this way, but with my feet pointing more direct, more in that direction, maybe I twist over there. Maybe I step back and see what happens. Just getting used to this feeling. And the reason we're doing it without the ball there is for all things footwork. If you haven't practiced this without the ball, you do not magically develop the ability when the ball's there. And a lot of people don't have these patterns, these kinesthetic feelings within their body. So your brain just isn't gonna suddenly use your hips. But by doing this now, your brain's gonna be really familiar with the feeling of loading into that outside hip in a variety of different positions. So that is gonna transfer eventually into being able to do it in a variety of situations when the ball's there. Because using your hips, absolutely foundational for generating a high level forehand. Before we close out the video, I just wanna let you know about a free gift that I've created for you to help you with your game. Because the number one thing that prevents players from improving is their visual system doesn't function at a high enough level. You might not have thought about it before, but everything you do on court is based on how well you can see. Your ability to react quickly and set up in the right position, your ability to watch the ball through to contact, your ability to recognize how far the ball is away so you can have good timing. It all comes down to vision, and it's the biggest thing that maxes players out. So I've created a free tennis vision starter program to help you get started on your vision training journey. I'll place a link up there, and I'll place a link down in the description. Click on either of those links, it'll take you over to a different page, and if you enter your details there, you can get this free program okay hopefully you have enjoyed this video and found it to be very beneficial